Hi, I'm Michael Gaffney, the director of the American School of Flower Design. Today I'm here with Flower Crazy, my DIY flower design system. Flower Crazy comes in a cylinder or cube. We're going to do another recipe right now. This one's called Alstro and Lavender. To get all the recipes, go to flowercrazybymichael.com or flowerschool101.com. So this is a nice one. Uh, uh, everybody loves lavender. It's very fragrant. So it'll fill up the house. And as you know, the great thing about Flower Crazy is all the stems are cut one length, eight, maybe nine inches. So easy. So I'm going to take all my stems, make one swipe about eight inches long, and start to make my design. For this uh, recipe, there's three different lids, large and uh, medium, all medium, and medium and small. We're going to take the medium and small lid, set it on top of our cube. And all we do, like with every Flower Crazy recipe, is start with the outer ring and go all the way around. These are all Stramari. Now these, like the last one I did with the Stargazers, these are very affordable. Everybody knows these flowers from the grocery store, and everybody knows they last a long time. So we're going to start with our all Stramaria. These will open up later on and form a very big, uh, nice spring of flowers. Right now they're tight. As we do, we're at the San Francisco uh, flower market today shooting our flower crazy uh, recipe videos. So I'm going all the way around the outside, skipping uh, maybe a hole here or there, depending how thick your flowers are. I've got my outer ring set. And then all I have to do is start on my inner ring. So we're going to do an all where with these open up. The whole design will fill in really nicely. So now I'm going to go to my inner ring and set my Alstromeri. Again, eight to nine inches, every stem the same length. This flower crazy is based on math and science. I've been teaching for 30 years in schools all over the country, and it really works. I've yet to meet anybody who can't make beautiful flowers using flower crazy. So I'm working on my inner circle, going through those medium-sized holes. Again, this Alstromeri is beginning to open. Once these all open up, you're going to have a really big, full bouquet. So see the perfect dome Flower Crazy makes every time. It takes me about two or three minutes to make one of these designs. This would be, what would I send the Alstro and Lavender for? There's 16, uh, 12 recipes in the book. You can make your own, but for easy breezy designing, just follow my recipes. Um, what would I send this for? I would send this to an office. It'll last for a couple of weeks. Remember that my secret is Chrysler flower food in the water and Chrysler spray on top. Uh, your flowers will last you three times longer than you ever thought they could. Now I've got my, my Alstromeria in there. I've used about 18 stems of Alstromeria to have a nice round dome of flowers. Next I'm going to take my lavender. This is fresh lavender I found here at the San Francisco market today. I'm going to clean off the stems and there's some very small holes in this lid. I'm just going to wiggle it around. I'm going to pop in my lavender. Couldn't be easier. This entire arrangement, again, took me about three minutes to make. And it's all just sticking my materials into the holes. This lavender is going to smell up the whole house. You'll wake up tomorrow morning and thought, oh, that's right. I made a flower crazy arrangement because my whole house smells of lavender. So you just peek through the flowers and find those little holes, and that's where the lavender goes. There's 12 recipes in my book. All the flowers in the book are easily found. You could use dried lavender, which is available everywhere, if you can't get fresh lavender. So I'm just going to insert. This is like a nice mixed design. And there's plenty of holes to fit as much lavender as you want. There's about 60 holes in each flower crazy lid. So remember, as the days go on, all these flowers will open up and you're going to have a really nice full design. So in the meantime, you can enjoy your flowers and watch for them to bloom. I'm going to play that. I said the, the beauty of Flower Crazy, it gives you a little wiggle room so you can really feel like a designer. You can still play with them, adjust them a little bit, and then present your design. Uh, Michael Gaffney with Flower Crazy. I'll be back with another recipe in a few minutes. Stay tuned.